back here in the second quarter. Defense ruled the first. And what are we going to see here, you think, in the second quarter, Phil? Well, I think the first thing they got to do, Jim, is just believe in what they did all week long in preparing for the game. All the practices, all the film sessions, and just know sometimes it takes more than one quarter to get the answer. So stay with your game plan and see if you can find a way to make it work. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Intercepted. It's wide open. We've got a tight one early in the second quarter, and now the offense will look to build on the lead coming off the interception. Yeah, you know, it was a good job by the defense taking nothing away from them. But what was the offense thinking with that play call and that throw by the quarterback? They come to the line of scrimmage and an excellent starting point. First down at the 16. Murray's met after a gain of 13. to the line at the three. Goal line defense on the field. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. Sam Bradford's injury isn't anything to worry about at this point. He just needs a little more time on the bench to recover, and then he should be right back out there. Back to you. Second down after the incompletion. Marco Murray gets the handoff. Runs it across for the score. Touchdown. Their lead grows a little more with that touchdown and still a long way to go in this half. They may be able to add even more to it before the break. Jim, I don't, I don't see anything that's going to slow them down. Everything they are trying is working. They have been spectacular here so far today. And all I can say to the opponents, you better buckle up. This is going to be tough. Getting set for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field. And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. The Cowboys have it at the 34. It's the old counter play. Graham's there to make the stop. Randall's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Bill, when you talk about the Cowboys and the Eagles, you're talking about two teams who are trying to figure out how to be the best in a very competitive division. Yeah, the NFC East, Jim, so competitive, such great rivalries. And the Dallas Cowboys, well, let's be honest. Everybody in the NFL, nobody likes the Dallas Cowboys. And you know the Philadelphia Eagles want to beat them. Third and 
nine after that last incompletion. The Cowboys lined up. Everybody split out wide. Romo's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the catch. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. How important was that touchdown, Phil, after a terrible start to this game and now moving on to the second quarter and trying to shift control of things? Yeah, early in the second quarter, and it was a awful start of this football game. You couldn't play any worse as a football team, but when you get a quick score, it just changes everything. It changes the scope of the game, and it changes your confidence. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Huff's got it. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Eagles back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, isn't it amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field? You go out there and you score and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see them to go out there and have success again. at the 23. The sack of the quarterback by Greg Hardy. Well, every defense is looking for somebody to sack the quarterback. At that time, the speed of the defensive end gets around the tackle and gets the sack. Second down coming up. Here we go now. Green 90. Huh? Selix got it. Screen. He'll pick up seven this time. Third catch today so far. The Eagles want to get their tight end involved early, and they have. Selix been a big target. And he's making some big plays. Oh, he is making some big plays. And any time when you have a tight end good, and just remember this, he is the closest receiver to the quarterback. So his chances of catching the football, they go up, and he's taking advantage of it. This is third down. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Green. The D-line now shifted into a spread look. They are getting ready to rush that quarterback. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. He's got it now. That picks up 11. The Cowboys take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? Cowboys snap it at the 36. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. And here we have second down. As 
Escobar with the reception. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy. Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. First and ten. Hand off by Romo. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. The Cowboys run the risk right now of having to abandon the running game. Randall's going to get more touches, and you know he has to learn how to find some openings to get his team back in this one. You know, I agree with that, Jim, but also I think you got to start to think about changing the play calling, get this defense off balance, then go back to the run and see if you can catch him off guard. Get ready. Get ready. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Looking long. Des Bryant is there. And it's incomplete. Always protect against the deep ball first. That's what the defense did this time. They were alert. Nice job. The result, just a long incompletion. Cowboys are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Now looking at third down. From the gun, Romo. Looking at every option. The defender able to knock it away. And this defense comes up with yet another stop here before the half. Good job by the defense. The offense, they are struggling in every way you can think of so far today. At halftime, they might have to think about changing some of these starters out. Sproles is going to make the fair catch this time. The Eagles offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited. So this is going to be tough on the offense. The Cowboys with a nickel look here on defense. Bradford's back in shotgun formation. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. Matthews, one of those guys, if he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. The Cowboys come out in a dime package. Here we go. <laughs> Look at the defensive line. Everybody's spreading out. I think they're going to try to pressure the quarterback. He's drilled as he throws. In a situation like this, third long, if you're the defense, catch them by surprise and blitz. Third down now. Ready, three, 90. Hold up. 
Darren Sproles takes the football. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. The best way to get more plays in before the end of the first half, go to the hurry-up offense. Nice job by the coach. We'll see if the quarterback can make it work. The Eagles signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. Second down here. There we go. Bradford's got it in the gun. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. On the way, third down. The Cowboys defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Bradford standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Bradford's on the move. Bradford's going to cut his losses here as he slides to a finish. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. Just 30 seconds to go before halftime and a first down. Here we go now. Look out here. They're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. Look at Tyrone Crawford with the sack. That leads us to second down. From the gun. And he's going down again. Ah, uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Loss of four on the play. Bradford's going to take it from the gun. Bradford's now going to leap. They've got him again. A good first half of action here. And soon we'll be sending you to Orlando and to our host, Larry Ridley. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.